super almost a quality video so I realize now that I wasn't showing you all the books after transparent and I forgot one and it ended up being kind of important because the book that costs two dollars or whatever that has the pages on the back is this one Tintinabulation nah. Tintinabulation has um, pages that you can write in um, not versus. Versus looks like this. And. Cheers. So transparent. Since. Pretty blue. You couldn't barely read it. It is not reader friendly. Much like transparent. I was not reader friendly at all. Uh, fantasy it. Not much better. It's in uh, calligraphy. The dreams are um, because because sharing dreams is so hard. I wanted it to be hard to read, and the same applied with transparent and since I wanted the things that were hard to share and hard to write to be hard to read. I didn't want to just give them away for two fifty. You know, of course, this is a real challenge and. I want to be met halfway. Um, if you don't want to know the rest of the story, you don't have to. So I wanted a book buying experience to be participatory in that way. You know, fantasy is off the market. If you find a copy, be warned, it's in calligraphy. Um, but it does look like this. I showed it. Fantasy. I took the cover for this one's great. I took all these protest signs that were hilarious, only hilarious protest signs. Like, what do we want? Time travel. When do we want it? It's irrelevant. Or you were mean to me, and now you're getting a hot dog. And uh, all these uh, hilarious versions of tanks uh, superimposed over Tank Man, and uh, like. Uh, crochet bombs and knitted slippers, things like that. Uh, hilarious protests and underminings. You can't tell if you look at it, it's just a blob, but that's what I made the blob out of. Um, Ziltrion was uh, my little drum and bass joke on myself because I took it off the market. <laughs> and Lunar Meditations for Celtic and Norse Deities is wow, that is so out of focus. I uh, should read to children more. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, had the artistic spin-off of Transparent's um, Mandala. I made a, a mandala for the book, if you can see it. It's this 13-pointed uh, star. I ended up making a little Etsy shop where I, I use it as my logo, but <clears throat> it's how I um, ended up arranging the prime numbers of the the chapters, uh, or the prime number of the chapters. Was 13 and I, um, yeah, I'm just playing around with geometry. Who doesn't love geometry? So, elemental, has let's see earth fire is that fire no that's space that's the that's a comet looks like and then the back I've got all the women I've dedicated it to and water and fire down here at the bottom better videos soon. <laughs> Um, since an ovulation I already showed, it's just a moon on white, 
super simple. Um, Ursula, I didn't even show well in the first video, as it turns out. It is way prettier in person. Let's see if I can catch the light. Oh, doing it no justice. It's. I'm a little boastful about this one. I'm going to take it away. Uh, but yeah, there's stuff on verses or in Ursula that I didn't put in verses that that are, I'm still proud of. So versus the uh, uh, summation of my so far short life's work. And the one that I forgot is the deck of cards that I made. Um, it looks like this. And, ah, for anybody who's into um, reading cards or playing cards or counting cards or learning the periodic table of elements. Uh, this is for you. You might be into this. Uh, much like Elemental, I incorporated the different worlds that I study into the closest map of the universe that I could make with the tools that I have. So from the perspective of an earthling. Um, I made this and it's just 52 cards and a joker. Uh, a couple introductory chapters, I think. Some nice art. I put a lot of work into this. This took two, three, three, four years? Three. Three years. This was a minute. And uh, I got a little bit better at using. So when I make art, and I make all of my own book art, I use Office Libre on my extinct computer that I can't hook up to the internet anymore. And I've been told that I need to abandon this program. But I love it. Uh, so um, just be aware that's the tool I'm working with. Uh, all of this is made on Office Libre in the draw program. Uh, I wish it was still around. <laughs> um, I dedicated it to our extinct, the planet's extinct. It has no other animal featured in it explicitly um, as, as a whole, except for humans. It does reference other living creatures. in parts, I should say. Um, but I like this one too. Um, <laughs> I was very excited about it, very tired of it uh, toward the end. So there were a couple typos. It's been amended a couple of times, but there's probably some weird commas in there still. And I think it's still worth it. I think it's okay. Um, I did make an, a real deck of cards to go with it, and this is not available on Amazon. Uh, this is the the form that I found best suited to my needs was make playing cards online. If <laughs> it could be more clear, and also super user friendly. And my deck is available on there. Or you can hit me up. I'm selling it at the Etsy shop, too. Um, so those are my works, visually. <laughs> Better videos to come. <laughs>